The moment we've all been waiting for, UFC 194, Conor McGregor, 18 and 2, with 16 KOs, the UFC interim featherweight champion of the world versus Jose Aldo, 26 and 1, with 15 KOs, the UFC featherweight champion of the world. This is for the undisputed featherweight championship of the world. The weigh-in is in progress right now, and the crowd is frantic. This is the moment. This is the time we've all been waiting for. Conor McGregor going up to the scales right now. The crowd is in a frenzy. It is a fracas right now. Conor McGregor, the Irishman from Dublin, Ireland. Ireland versus Brazil. The Brazilian fighter, Jose Aldo. Conor McGregor stopped his last four opponents, 6-0 in the UFC. 14 uh, uh, strike, uh, 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 streak, 14 fight win streak. Has not lost since 2010. Going against Jose Aldo, who's undefeated in the UFC, was the WEC featherweight champion, was elevated to the UFC featherweight champion. They would have fought already, but Jose Aldo had to pull out of their fight because of a rib injury. Conor McGregor weighing 145 right now. And Jose Aldo. Coming to the scale, and he looks very motivated and excited. Chel Sonnen said he would miss weight. He doesn't want to be in this fight. That's what Chel Sonnen said. He doesn't want this fight. So we're going to see right now if he wants to fight. Jose Aldo looking in peak condition. The Muay Thai fighter in his last fight was against Chad Mendes. Had to pull out of their fight because of a rib injury. And Conor McGregor said he would expose that. Conor McGregor has a lot to live up to. He has to back up all these things that he said. 145 for Aldo. 145 for McGregor. And a stare-off is about to happen. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, right now. They're taking a drink of water, and they are about to face off Conor McGregor. And, and, and Jose Aldo! Mocking McGregor getting in his stance, putting his hands in his face, and McGregor lifts his leg up. This is what we've been waiting for right now. It's about to happen early tonight at UFC 194 weigh-in. The crowd, Las Vegas, Nevada, December 12th. Take the time to subscribe. Me and Ray the Sign have covered this fight up to the minute. Can Conor McGregor live up to the hype that's surrounding this fight and the things that he said that he would do? They're booing Jose Aldo. I believe, wow, he disrespected him so much, but now Aldo disrespecting him here tonight. The Muay Thai fighter, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu background, has a 91% takedown rate. Jose Aldo has never lost in the UFC. He is a proven commodity once he steps in the octagon. That is it. UFC 194. That was the official way in, and this is the official predictions. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting for this time for so long and now it will be upon us tomorrow night I have Conor McGregor and it is a bold prediction because McGregor has to back up everything that he has said and it has been going on since his resurrection in the UFC as I stated earlier
Conor McGregor is 6-0 and in the UFC. His last fight against Chad Mendes, TKO in the second round. Dennis Seaver, TKO, second round. Um, um, Dustin Portier, first round knockout. Diego Brandao, TKO, the first round. This is a man that backs up what he says. That's why they call him the notorious one. You can call him Nostradamus. But the man in front of him, as I said before, after mention, is a proven commodity when, once he steps in the octagon. That is the totality of the situation. And when he steps in the octagon, he proves himself every time, no matter if it's Frankie Edgar, no matter if it's Chad Mendez, who he beat twice, knocked him out the first time in the first round, or whoever it is that steps in front of him. So is he the old lion? Is he a, is he an old fighter? He had to pull out of that last fight because of the ribs. He's in it. He's in it. Conor McGregor has criticized USADA. Conor McGregor has sent death threats. Conor McGregor said he would be like a ghost. Conor McGregor says that it is his time and that Jose Aldo does not want to be here. He even predicted a first round KO. This fight is going to be a fight. Aldo is not going to lay down. I'm not thinking that. Conor McGregor will run all over him. It could be a five-round fight. This is in Las Vegas. We know that the UFC is backing Conor McGregor. The Irish is backing Conor McGregor. The Brazilian fans are backing Jose Aldo. I have Conor McGregor, and the reason why I have him is because I think he has more punching power. I think that he's going to be a step quicker. I think that he's going to be able to establish that distance, and I think he's going to be able to land his strikes at a more accurate rate, and I believe if he can do that turning spin kick, as Tommy Regenstein had discussed in all our videos leading up to this fight, it could hurt Conor McGregor to the midsection, to his ribs that was previously injured and the initial reason why he had to pull out the fight i have conor mcgregor now the striking it is it, it's, it's both of these guys are phenomenal strikers conor mcgregor with the caparetta the, the the karate um um uh, jose aldo with the muay thai fundamentals and the jiu-jitsu ju brazilian jiu-jitsu background but that's on the ground what i'm saying is jose aldo is going to try to kick out that lead leg He's going to try to set up his strikes. He's going to try to counter. McGregor's going to try to establish that distance, throw kicks himself, and then try to connect with huge punches to test the chin of Jose Aldo. So what I believe is that Conor McGregor, in the beginning, they will fill each other out. I think that they will start to test each other, and I feel that that's where you will see Conor McGregor a step quicker, a step faster, going to the body, but Jose Aldo will be right on top of him, and he will land some devastating kicks, and it will be an exciting fight no matter what, but I got Conor McGregor. I think he's younger. I think he's going to be a little bit faster. I think he's going to execute his game plan a little bit better. I think he's going to go to the body, and I think that he will eventually win this fight, even if it is goes, goes to a decision. I think, I think for Jose Aldo, I think he is going to land some of those kicks. I don't think he's going to be able to pull the trigger as he once was able to do. I think it, the strikes to the body will slow him down a bit, and we will see how much gas he has in the tank when they go to the later rounds. I know Conor McGregor is in phenomenal condition, and he will not gas out. But the thing about that is of the pace, who's fighting, who's fighting. It doesn't matter how good a shape you're in. If you're fighting the other person's fight, you can run out of energy. But I believe it will be Conor who has the octagon control and who will land at a more higher pace and who will be quicker and has more punching power. And he will establish the distance where, Con where Jose Aldo will be aiming for that leg and trying to close the distance. And I think Conor will be uh, win this fight. I, don't, I can't say it won't be a close fight. I, I, can't, I don't know if it will be a knockout or a TKO, but I believe Conor McGregor at the end of the day will be the victor where Ronda Rousey was not able to. Now, the middleweight fight middleweight championship on the line chris weidman versus luke rockhold i gotta go with chris chris weidman um i can't wait you know i can't wait to see you uh the anticipation the speculation you can cut it with a knife it is so thick and you better understand that enter the arena the don juan banks immediately once this fight goes off we will be live i can't wait to see you tomorrow night that will be the next time you see the Don Juan Banks.